Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, a celebration of local performers and artists. The Hartford's Got Talent Season 2 finale is happening at the Bushnell this week. We're getting a sneak peek of the show from one of the finalists. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chef Plum is teaching us how to make his kid-approved healthy chicken tenders. And trust us, you'll want to try them. Plus, we're getting crafty with Kate Francis. She's helping us kick off beach season with an ocean-inspired DIY project. We're making your day a great one, starting right now. Good afternoon, everyone. We hope you had a peaceful and meaningful Memorial Day weekend. Welcome to Great Day Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday. It is going to be June before you know it. I cannot believe it. This coming weekend is June. 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 June is it, busting out all over. Yeah, so summer grilling season kicked off over the summer. I actually did do some grilling. You did? I stopped by Avon Prime Meats and I got the bacon cheddar burgers and we Look plopped them on the bur yeah. I so, yeah, yeah. Uh But tomorrow's National Hamburger Day, which is, I, I have leftovers. I guess I can have that. 50 billion burgers is how much we eat in the U.S. every year. Today is National Hamburger Day. Oh, I mean, today. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to lose the holiday. Sorry, sorry. Today. Today. It's okay. We're, you know what? Did you grill Did you grill to perfection, Karen? I think so. Here's what we've learned on Great Day Connecticut. Oh, the chefs always guy? say, do not play with your food. Do not squish that burger. I just burger. said that on 9A. Yeah? I, I said, Sludens prone. Sludens. Sludens. <laughs> Sludens prone. <laughs> you are prone. Sloan. You are prone to messing up Prudence's name. <laughs> Prudence Sloan, one of our uh, old-time chefs here on Great Day at 9A. She... Uh, taught us not to play with our food, Karen. That's yes. exactly what... And as Chef Plum teaches us, get the grill nice and hot, and then don't squish it. Don't squish it. And unless you want the dreaded hockey puck. I like that. Maybe there's a smash burger in your future. That's different, because those are on the... Gr the smash burgers are usually on the griddle. On the griddle. So and it's like... smash them Smash down. it, but like real quick. You're there Look for like... This. And they're thinner. Are you looking at this video? I'm starving. Yeah. Whoa, that's really good. Okay, so... Did you go to the movies this weekend? No. I didn't either. Nope. Oh, you did? What'd you say? Alex goes every weekend. Furiosa, a Mad Max. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was in Renee our, we did that. Was, yes, I couldn't believe anybody. So, Alex, you were the one. You it were the one, exactly. Turns out the worst U.S. box office returns for a Memorial Day weekend. But it was at least, I mean, I don't know about the rest of the country, but it was really good weather. Last place I wanted to be was in a movie theater. Not Sunday in Long Island and not Monday for anybody. Yeah, but Saturday, no, no, Monday wasn't nice, but like Saturday and Sunday were sunny and hot. Sunny? Good. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get that sun in Long, in Long Island. No, it was, it was foggy, socked in with fog the whole day. There was also, I mean, Lots of graduations, lots of this, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad the weather held off for anybody. Monday was a little bit wet, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday looked look pretty good in here in Connecticut. Okay, good. Which is good. Okay. So uh, lots of uh, people did not want to head into the movies, and they certainly didn't. Well, you know, we also can watch what we want. When you want. When you want. So and, like, you're like, am I going to the movies? No, I want to go to the barbecue and I'll just stream something. I don't know. Well, if you are going, here's a blast from the past. Kermit the Frog and Friends are going, they're going back to the big screen. The 1979's movie, The Muppet Movie, is returning Yay! to theaters for its 45th anniversary. We got to go see Kermit. Oh, I love Kermit. And Miss Piggy. Oh. Uh, there'll be screenings on Sunday, June 2nd, and next Monday, June 3rd. Uh, it'll be at several theaters here in Connecticut, including Manchester, North Haven, Madison, and Milford. Head to fathomevents.com. <laughs> Fathom. Look at, look at that. Is that Cookie Monster? Who is that? How fun would this oh, be? I would trash. like to take my kids and hope that they like it as much as I like the Muppets, but oh I don't know if they God, will. Oh, my God. That is so funny. I love it. Can you do a Kermit impression? I feel like Ooh. you'd be... Oh, Kara, I think I can do a pretty good Kermit impersonation. Miss Piggy and I are dating. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. It's about as close as I can get from off the cuff. Okay. And a rare chance to own a piece of film history. The suburban Chicago home used in the Christmas classic Home Alone is on the market. Did you see the price? $5.25 I mean, it was a beautiful home. It's a beautiful home, but five point two five. It's 9,000 square feet. Oh, that's a big home. With five bedrooms and six bathrooms. $5.25 And I think it's in dollars. a really, like, nice neighborhood of Chicago, yeah. Oh, by the way, the house was only used for exterior shots. Everything the movie showed as inside the home was actually shot on a soundstage, which is pretty oh, typical. Oh, okay. Well, and they've updated. I'm guessing for that price it doesn't have the 19, um, 19... 80s decor and all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which might mean, well, you don't want it. Like, maybe you just want that. What's our favorite song, Karen? Jolene, Jolene, <laughs> Jolene, Jolene. That was better than the Kermit impression. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Dolly Parton's hit tune, Jolene. 
Um, it's according to Rolling Stone, it is the best song of all time. A best country song. Best country song. Okay. And the it. second one is Johnny Cash. Uh huh. Um, what was the Johnny Cash song following second place? Johnny Cash, I Walked I Walked Line. Oh, I like that one, too. Oh, my God. Other top artists include Patsy Cline. Ray Charles. George Strait. And Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift made it in there as a country singer. She made singer. it on the list. Imagine that. I can't believe Taylor. I'm not familiar with her work, Kara. What does she do? <laughs> huh. All right. This is something else. Huh? All right. Well, South Park, we know they always push the envelope. But push, push it. See? They open it, stuff it, seal it, and then push it. Who killed Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Singer Lizzo is speaking out. She does not like this. South Park referenced her in an episode satirizing the increasing popularity of all the weight loss drugs. But in the show, they, may, they created a fictional drug called Lizzo, and they said it's marketed to patients who simply don't care they're overweight. Now, the real-life Lizzo took to social media with a live reaction video of her watching part of the episode and appeared to be stunned. She then went on to express pride that her message of body positivity is well-known enough to get the attention of South Park's creators. Yeah, and what reaffirmed her commitment to encouraging self-love regardless of body type. Hmm. There you go. All right. All right. If you are a fan of ordering your groceries... Then you're in luck because online grocery service by Amazon, Amazon Fresh, which I think that must mean it's Whole Foods because now they own Home Food, Whole Foods, trying to get you shopping a little bit more online. They're slashing prices on more than 4,000 items. That's really good. Shoppers will see daily discounts of 30% off on certain items in store and online. Wow. It'll rotate weekly from meat, seafood, frozen food, dairy, whatever you like. Also, an added perk, if you are Amazon Prime, you'll get the additional 10% off, which I do know when you go to Whole Foods, you get the additional 10% off of sale. I, I love that. I yeah. love when I get that 10% off. It makes me... And, you know, if you really just, like, can't deal with the fact that someone's going to deliver it, you know, you can just order it and then they come put it in the back of your car. I got to do uh, the math here, Kara. I do apologize. What, Hang on one doing? second. I got to do the math for the next story. 220 divided by 18... Okay. 12, Holy moly. 12.2 golf courses. 12.2 okay. 18 hole golf courses. Oh, okay. Yeah, because this man from Tennessee, he did 220 holes of golf in one day for a good cause. So that's eight. 12 courses? 12 courses. A little over 12 courses. A little over 12 courses he did in one day. Could you imagine playing golf 12 times? 18 holes? Well, first of all, that would take me much longer than a day would take, since I don't really in, play. You and I would be in the I, woods I'd looking be, for a ball half the I'd day. I'd never make it. Like, it would take like a week to do the 12 courses. <laughs> exactly. I'm like thinking 18 holes a day is but enough. But he did it for a great cause, um, helping military veterans yeah. enhance their physical and mental well-being through golf. So that's just great. That's terrific. So are you looking for an early Father's Day gift? Professional Fighters League is coming to Mohegan Sun. And we had a one of the stars on Great Dakota, Connecticut. there she Dakota, is, right Dakota, there. dangerous Dakota. But Look at June her. 13th, she's incredible. Her mom was a fighter, too. Oh, my God. And we have free tickets for you. All week long, we're giving away a family four-pack. You can enter right now on our Great Day Connecticut Facebook page. And because of Memorial Oof. Day, we have two winners to announce this afternoon. Yeah, so thank you to everyone who entered, and there's still chances to win, but congrats to Thomas Rachwalski. Wow, good for you. I hope I'm saying that right. From yeah. New Britain. And Gloria Cordero, also from New Britain. Congratulations! New, in the house. New Britain is in the house. You have each won a family four-pack of tickets. There are still three more chances to win. Yeah, so all you have to do is enter on our Great Day Connecticut Facebook page. Just go to Facebook, enter Great Day Connecticut, follow us while you're there, like us, leave us a message. We love to read them. Uh, and there's your chance to win your tickets to PFL. All right, very good. And we have a great show on the way for your Tuesday.